Hey everybody, it's Mike Patterson and I'm still here in beautiful Waterton Lakes National Park. So this time I'm going to clear up all the last minute stuff on camping shelters. Now, as we talked about before, there's lots of different camping shelters from a basic lean to all the way up to your big class A motorhomes. But there's also other things that you can do. And one of the things that a lot of people are getting into is building their own. Now, a big word of warning here and I'll cover off a few warnings. The, first of all, the biggest one is if you're going to buy a used vehicle that already has 500,000 or a million kilometers or miles or whatever it is on it, be careful because you're buying a used vehicle. You're buying problems from somebody else. Even if it looks like it's in great shape, you're still going to have issues. So be careful on that. There's no sense, in my opinion, going out and buying a cheap van and then doing a $100,000 build on the inside of it and then having it break down and be no good to you. So my book is I'd rather go and buy a good van and go build it slowly than to buy a junk van and get it all built really quick and then have problems further down the road. You can buy buses, you can buy uh, truck uh, delivery trucks, you can buy trailers, uh, cargo trailers, you can buy, uh, I saw one uh, person did a horse trailer into a beautiful living accommodation. Uh, I've seen Greyhound buses, I've seen everything done. And they're all great in their own way. Biggest benefit is you can build exactly what you want. You don't have to take what somebody else decided to put into it, which is a huge benefit for many people. For me, I didn't want tanks underneath my vehicle that would freeze in the wintertime. So all my water is inside. My wastewater is inside. My toilet's inside. Everything is inside. Nothing is below the frame. Um, I have the bed that I want. I have the cooking stuff that I want. And that is a great thing. So if you're looking at doing that, there's great benefits. But, and here's the big but again that I just talked about, be careful what you're building it into. So many times I see people buy a van, it's rusted out. They go, oh, that's no big deal. They put tons of work into it, tons of money into it. And then all they have is trouble afterwards. So be careful what you're doing. Take the time, check everything out thoroughly before you get invested in it. Now, if you're not the handy person type that's going to be able to build it yourself, go to companies that do build for you and they will build to your specs. If you want one window in the side of it, like I have, they'll put one window in. If you want three windows, they'll put three windows in. If you want a pop top or if you want a high top or if you want a medium top, you can select all of that stuff from them and they will build exactly what you want. So I don't want to talk you out of building what I call a conversion vehicle, um, van, bus, or whatever. But at the same time, beware. So until next time, have a wonderful day. I'm going to go and photograph some of the birds that are singing behind me. And we'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye now. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please click on the like button, which is the thumbs up button. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please click on the subscribe button and then click on the bell next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified when any new videos are uploaded. Thank you and have a great day.